Cora TV. The world is thinking. Effective ideas are simple. Now, all of a sudden, we've got a problem because most of us, when we have an idea that we want to share with the other people, we're experts. As parents, we have years of experience in life that we're trying to transmit to our kids. At work, we may spend weeks or months working on the right idea for our organization that we then want to turn around and share with somebody else. Now, there's another group that is in the idea business, and they have a label for a particular occupational hazard. So journalists are in charge of talking about ideas to the rest of us. They're explicitly communication people. And they'll spend days or weeks working on a story. And when it comes time to writing the story, what they're trying to do, especially with the very first paragraph of the story, they call it the lead. You want to write the lead that's going to grab a newspaper reader or a magazine reader that's thumbing through a magazine or a newspaper and grab their attention and let them read the product of your days or weeks of investment. Now, what often happens, though, to journalists as they spent lots and lots of time thinking about a, a field is that they end up learning so much that they can't quite articulate why what they're learning is important to somebody else. And editors will look through their stories and you know scan through the first 17 paragraphs and the first 23 paragraphs. And somewhere around paragraph number you know 25, they say, wow, that's your lead to your story. And in journalism, that happens often enough that there's a term for it. It's called burying the lead that there was something that you wanted to get across to somebody else. But because you've known so much, you get distracted by all the details that you know. You be, get distracted by your newly found expertise. And all of us, by the way, face that problem whenever we have an idea that we want to get across to somebody else. We're in danger of burying the lead. Let me tell you a story about what it means to find the right lead. There's a woman named Nora Ephron, famous writer, started off as a journalist and ended up writing the screenplays to some of my favorite movies, When Harry Met Sally, uh, Sleepless in Seattle. Nora Ephron started out her career in journalism at Beverly Hills High School. Now, she was already in the right location in the country to be a future screenwriter. But she went into her first journalism class, and her teacher knew that there were a bunch of budding young journalists that were going to sit down. and those journalists may have the wrong idea about what journalism really is. Because everyone walks into a journalism class thinking they know what journalism is. It's the facts. It's getting the facts down on the paper. Who, what, where, when, why, the five W's. That's what journalism is about. Now it turns out that that's the wrong idea. And if you're a journalism teacher, you, the first thing that you have to do is convince your students that that's not the right idea. So my reaction, or maybe a lot of teachers' reactions, would have been to stand up and give you know, the general patent speech on the first day. Journalism is not what you think it is. You know, you know, thousands of people have worked over time to come up with what we know as journalists. What Nora Ephron's teacher did was immediately give them an exercise. He sat them down in front of their typewriters and said, I want you to write the lead to your first story. Let me give you a set of facts. And here's the set of facts that he dictated. Principal Kenneth Peters announced today that the Beverly Hills High School faculty will attend a seminar next Thursday on new teaching methods in Sacramento. Among the presenters will be anthropologist Margaret Mead, college president Robert Maynard Hutchins, and California governor Edmund Pat Brown. Now, young journalists, go off and write your leads. And so, you know, for 10 minutes, these, you know, high school journalism students sat around typing in their computer, and what they were trying to do is to pack as many facts as they could get into the first sentence of their story. And so Nora Ephron said the lead to her story was something like, Governor Pat Brown, Margaret Mead, and Robert Maynard Hutchins will address the Beverly Hills High School faculty next Thursday at a seminar on new teaching methods in Sacramento. All right, that's not bad. You get all the five W's in that, that paragraph. So the journalism teacher collects all the leads from the students and thumbs through them at the, the front of the class. And he looks through and then sets them down and he says, ladies and gentlemen, the lead is, there is no school next Thursday. <laughs> All right. 
And Nora Ephron said it was like a light bulb going off in my head, you know. Suddenly I realized what journalism really is. Journalism is not just about talking about the facts. Journalism is about understanding what those facts mean to people. And so think about what that teacher has done. He's taken a misperception on the part of his students and he's given them a very concrete exercise to go through to understand how their perception of what journalism is is wrong. And in a part of doing that, he's given them a tool for thinking about how to make their ideas simple from then on in their career as journalists. And that's the first criteria of effective ideas. Effective, sticky ideas are simple. And luckily, Nora Ephron's journalism teacher was clever enough at getting that message across in a very simple, tangible, effective way. That's a sticky idea. That's an idea that changes the way that people think and will stay with them for the rest of their lives.